Border of Border Border and what happened last Friday. That incident actually took place last Friday. We have followed the matter, as you have noticed very well. Uh, we have 16 uh, suspects in police custody. We have increased the number, uh, uh, the net of uh, our uh, suspects, and we want to make sure that we get everyone who was involved in that particular incident and bring them to justice. Because uh, honestly, that is very destructive, not just to the individual who was involved, but that we, as Kenyans, we are better than that. And we all agree we are better than that. That, that is really hurting the image of our country. We live in a, a, a wonderful nation, a wonderful country that is fought with wonderful people. And we care for each other, honestly. We are better than the beastly behavior that we saw the other day. Uh, uh, in, in that particular incident. And as a result of that, we, we are meeting. You see, it's not a coincidence that you found all of us together. We have been having a meeting this morning here, my two colleagues, our cabinet secretary for transport, whom I'm going to give an opportunity to say something shortly, Mr. James Masharia, our cabinet secretary for ICT and youth, uh, Mr. Joe Musheru, uh, our principal secretary for transport, uh, uh, engineer Anjoroge, who's here with me, and my colleague, our cabinet secretary for interior, uh, engineer uh, Karanja Kibicho. We have been meeting this morning because, you know, we had a border border task force that uh, came up with uh, several recommendations on things we need to do to streamline and bring order in the in the in the border border sector because we all agree we cannot continue this way honestly i mean that kind of madness is becoming too much for all of us and we we, we cannot accept to live that way anymore now all i need to say before i invite my brother james masharia to say something that time has come Nothing short of a very ruthless and radical reorganization of that border border sector is going to solve us. All I want to ask you Kenyans, yes. like we've done before when we have had to carry out very painful reforms in some sectors, please support us because time has come for us to confront this madness once and for all. Yes. We have confronted similar challenges in other sectors before successfully when we have worked together with you Kenyan people. Yes. The level of impunity that we are seeing in this sector yes. cannot be tolerated. We cannot continue this way. Because that could have been any one of us.